Hello my friend, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you how to install and use DB Browser to read and write SQLite database. As you already know, DB Browser is an open source tool to create, design, and edit database files compatible with SQLite. Okay, let's start. First we need to download and install DB Browser. You can download it from this link. I have put the link in the description below, please check it out. Here we find various installers for each OS. We can choose according to the operating system on the computer we are using. Because I'm currently using Windows 10 64-bit, I will choose the installer for 64-bit Windows. I select this for Windows 64-bit. Just click on the link to start download. We need to wait until the download is complete. Once the download is complete, to continue with the installation, just click open to open the file. This one click next. Click accept the term in the license agreement. Next. This one, click desktop and program menu. You can choose either one. Then click next. In this step, I would like to change the installation folder to drive D. You can choose the default setting, just click next. I click browse button here and change the drive C to D, then click OK. Click next. Click install. If you got this message, just click OK. This message indicate that you need to restart your computer once the installation completed. The installation is now completed. Now I will show you how to read and write Sklite files. Let's double click the DB browser icon in the desktop. I have several views that are useless at this time. So I can just hide them. To do this I have to go to view menu. Then I have to click on the corresponding view item that I want to hide. It looks better now. Now let's create a new database. Click on this new database button. And I will put it in the desktop and call it my store DB. So let's click on save. Now let's create our first table. And call it customers. I need to add a field in field tab click it button. The first column I will call it ID and the type is integer. It will be also not null, primary key and auto incremental. Click add to add the new column. Call it name. Then in type field here, obviously we should select text. But I would like it to be a varchar. So we can just type in varchar like this. For the name it should not be null. Click the add button to create a new column that I will call phone. The type can be text or varchar. Let's type varchar like before and put 50 as the value. It should not be null. Next column we call it address. Set type as text then click not null checkbox. Next column we call it city. I will set it as varchar. Click add for the last column that I will call registration date. Type is text not null and I will provide it with a default value. Just click and type current timestamp. stamp. 
So we have done with the customer's table. Check all the columns set up correctly. Once completed, we can click OK button. Now we can see our customer's table on the list. Just click on the left side of customer table to expand it. So now we can see the table columns that we have defined. I will like to change the phone become a unique field. So let's try to modify this table. Click on the table, then click on modify button. Of course, we need to save these modifications, so click on save. Let's make this a little wider. And this column as well. Now let's point on the phone row, then click you check box. This will ensure phone value unique in the table. Then click on OK button. Now let's check our modification. Just click to expand the customer table. We can see the phone column now have unique parameter in the schema. Let's see what inside the table. Just click on the browse tab. If not selected yet, we need to select the customer table. The table is empty. Click this to add a new record. A new entry is created with default value on ID and registration date columns. ID was defined as auto incremental and registration date was defined with default current timestamp. So both column will always automatically have a value. Let's fill in all the columns so that this table will have entry. Click this button to add a new record. Our entry is done. Now we can try an SQL query. Just click the Execute SQL tab. We can just write an SQL command in this box. Let's do a select command like this. Then click the play button. We can easily find the result in the table window below. And the bottom can see that the execution is done correctly. Let's go back to the table. We can delete a record form this table. Let's say we want to delete the record ID 3. Just click on the record, then click Delete button. Now click Execute SQL tabs. We also can delete a record using SQL command. Just added the existing command to a delete command. To execute this command, we can click on this Play button. And in the bottom, we can see that the execution is done correctly. And here we can see only left one record. Let's go back to database structure. Click on the table. We will create a new table, but this time we'll use SQL command. Just delete the old command, I paste this command. It will create a new table called user, including its column. Let's execute it by clicking execute button. We can see the command successfully executed. In the database structure, we can see our new created users table. Just click right change to save our work. I want to add one more column in this table. Click on Modify Table button. Click Add. Type Registration Date. Type is text, not null. The default value is current timestamp. Then click OK button. We can see in the database schema, the user table now contain the new column.
Now let's close this database. Let's open it back. We can see our work are still there. Okay, in the next part, we will get a sample database from the internet and use it for our study. Open your browser then go to Google. Just write SQLite Data Starter Pack. Just select this one. There are many options here. So let's download some of these samples. Make sure you know where the files to be downloaded will be stored, because we will use them later. Let's open the sample database. I will choose this one, the food inspection. This is database structure. And we can browse to see the data. Let's do a query for this data. For example, I would like to see the inspection score less than 90. And selected these column. Let's execute it. And we can see the result. We can see there many of food business score less than 90. Please note the data is not real. This is just a sample. Hope you enjoy and we can learn something new from this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you find this video is useful please hit subscribe button.